This episode of Queen of the Ratchet is being sponsored by Butt Plugs. If you're not used to taking big things up your behind, you have to train yourself. We're also being sponsored by Viagra because nobody likes a limp noodle. Boy, boy, don't play. I can't say I speak, bro. No job, you say. Does she look like a joke? Be gone, go away. I can't say I speak, bro. Shoot him, shoot him. That song is off of our latest album, Queen of the Ratchet, Ratchet Disney Volume 1. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, SoundCloud, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your life. And we're back. I'm Coella DeVille from Disney's 101 Dalmatians. Ain't nobody got time for broke shenanigans, but I'm sure there'll be plenty today. I'm Tremaine from Disney's Cinderella. There's a lot of bald-headed scallywags that I'm ready to read for Phil. A red carpet always needs to be rolled out when I enter a room. I'm Medusa from Disney's The Rescuers. You know what? I'ma let you have your delusions today. That's great because I didn't plan on saying anything about that cheap ass Tyler Perry wig on your bald ass head. You know what Herpy puts? My patience has run thinner for you than those penciled on eyebrows you got on. You know it's great that we're taking the high road because I would hate to say anything about that low budget cheap ass dollar store makeup you got on your face. Speaking of low budget, Maleficent has definitely reached a new low when it comes to being a backstabber. Oh wait, hold Hold up, if we gonna speak on me, I might as well be in the room so I can defend my actions. I'm sorry, Stacey Dash. This is a private cookout. Who invited you to the table? With the petty election coming up, my voice deserves to be heard just as much as yours. I think it's really dirty of you to testify against me with Prince John. And I thought it was really dirty of you to try to cover up your nephew's murder. I have no idea what you're talking about. You can play the innocent white woman all you want to Coella but I see right through you and I have my sources I have nothing to do with my nephew's deaths but I also don't feel bad that they died they never paid what they owed what we not gonna do is turn this into a way to attack each other politically oh herpy push shut up all is fair and petty in war. And this is exactly why neither one of you deserves to be fair tale president. Who keeps inviting these unwanted guests to my podcast? Where are y'all's invitations? Because I don't remember sending any of y'all one. Well, here's my petty two cents. Everybody that's running for fair tale president should be able to be on the podcast. But there wouldn't even be a podcast if it wasn't for Coella DeVille. Spoken like a true sidekick you gotta train well Coella I shun in a bow bye for you to be so heavy in the church you sure do have a demonic spirit and for someone that's been to the clinic your vagina still smells like an expired brand of old bay seasoning ho it is starting to smell like a McDonald's filet of fish in here close your legs herpy puss lay off the snow crabs and drink some apple cider vinegar herpy puss see what we not gonna do is gang up on my friend for having a rotten and tuna pot twat. This is why I didn't want everybody on this podcast to begin with. I don't need you to defend me about my punani, Coella. I got this. It's nice to see all you hens can get together and cackle over old times. John, you definitely weren't invited to the podcast. What the hell are you doing here? To all the petty listeners that don't know, I'm the petty prince, Prince John, and I'm here just to tell Coella DeVille, I'll see you in court, beach. Tinkerbell deserves justice for what you did to her. Put kettle skeleton twat your nephews deserve justice too well i guess we'll see what happens in court then a shady person once said don't start no petty won't be no petty i'll see you in court miss coella deville i'm about done with all y'all being in here let me go ahead and pull this pistol out and start popping these rounds off coella stop And we're back. I want to apologize to the petty listeners. Seems like there's a couple people that's trying to take Coella down. 
but Cruella ain't going out without a fight. A rat will always fight when they're backed into a corner. What is this fake woke ho still doing on my podcast? Waiting for you to really pop off so I can pop back? Well, I have the Lord on my side, so if anybody starts popping anything, I'm protected. I shunning a bow by. Yizma, your name ain't even on all the ballots in fairytale land. You're the Kanye West of this situation. It really is between Coella and Maleficent. Whatever, I'm still gonna run because I can. I told this hoe to make sure she made the deadline. That's what happens when you do shysty things and try to backstab your friends, Ursula. Karma. I just want to let everybody know that Coella ain't got this election in the bag. Just like the presidential election, this is going to be a fight till the end. And well, let the petty games begin because just like you got some tea on me, I got some tea on you and I can't wait to share it in court. Now, is there anything that y'all want to leave the petty audience with today? Don't complain if you ain't registered to vote or don't plan on voting. It's fun being petty, but also try to find your peace. Protect black trans women. Just because you in the church house don't mean you not going to hell. I shun an abode. Bye. White people are settling back into their leave it to beaver lifestyles. It's time to make them uncomfortable again. No justice, no peace. Always sniff it before you lick it. You don't want to end up with a bump on your tongue. With that being said, I hope y'all are following everything that's Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time. <laughs>